Hi, welcome to the FIRE Elemental reading for the end of February. Um, this is a general reading and FIRE signs include Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, I hope that this will be somewhat informative or inspirational for you, maybe bring you some clarity or insight to whatever it is you're wondering about. And um, yeah, I, I just see what applies to you. Messages may apply later and um, you should just, uh, yeah, take things for, um, you know, apply them how they, how they apply to you uh, in your life. See what, what uh, you're wondering about and I don't know. Um, I'm going to start with, actually, sorry. <laughs> story of art. <laughs> what to say to that? Um, I was just going to pull a page and maybe a painting or time period the artist would be inspiring to you. And so we'll just see what happens. Um, for fire signs, February. Um, this is a cathedral, um, and Dodge's Palace, Venice, begun in 1309, and the west front of the Exeter Cathedral in 1350 to 1400. So, architecture. It reminds me of Rockefeller Chapel here. Um, and reminds me of studying abroad in Venice. Um, the like geometry of the stained glass, the windows there, um, like just very ornate. All the cutouts and all the statues there. Um, you can see that. I'll put the names in the descriptions below, so if you're interested, you can look these up. Give myself little notes. <laughs> um, um, next. I got this little spy deck of <laughs> cards. Um, maybe, um, you know, some of the time periods, and sometimes they refer to movies, just different um, spy theme. See what happens for fire signs. Oh, the Eight of Diamonds and the Ace of Hearts. Ace, okay, so the Eight of Diamonds is, I'm not going to get these names right, um, the Vanity Beria, head of Soviet secret police, NKVD, administrate, administered Gulag and instrumental in Katyn Massacre, shot after <laughs> Stalin's death in coup de, by uh, Khrushchev. It's a little hard to see in here, but uh, <laughs> the Ace of Hearts is um, it's a movie poster. Cary Grant and Ingrid Berg and Ingrid Bergman, um, Alfred Hitchcock, Notorious. Ace of Hearts is all about. Um, that brand new beginning, that brand new um, emotional start, that brand new love, the, um, it's maybe an offer, it's the beginning of something um, having to do with emotion, having to do with feelings, having to do with love. Um, and the Eight of uh, Diamonds is like the Eight of Swords, it's kind of getting out of your head, so maybe getting out of your head so that you can get, then go and have that fresh start. Um, I just heard that um, it's uh, I think from Chow Manhattan 
um, or maybe some other, maybe I can find um, find the video, but Edie Sedgwick is saying something, wherever I've been, I've been quite notorious. <laughs> um, it's very like film noir, see the guy in the background with the blinds, it also makes me think of, um, God, what is that movie? Um, the blinds and she does a dance. Um, what's her? What is that name? Um, and she does that like sexy dance with um, for her guy. Uh, <laughs> I forget um, the name of the movie, but yeah. And eights again are about power. So getting over your head so that you can have that um, power that uh, that. I want to say courage almost, um, to get started with something, to have a fresh start, to start something new, um, so start something that you you are passionate or um, emotional about, uh, maybe starting a new relationship, meeting someone new. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, I was going to pull from some actual tarot decks and then the I Ching. Um, not spend too much time on that since usually I have to look those up and then finish with an oracle card. So, clarity on um, eight of diamonds, architecture, ace of hearts, four of fire signs, end of February. This came up for air signs, the high priestess. Um, which kind of works with the, um, the, on the bottom is the hangman. So, this kind of works with the ace of hearts. It's the beginning of something, um, I think the high priestess is the beginning of the rest of the suit of water. Um, she is, you know... I said this also in the um, air sign video, I kind of associate her, she reminds me of Mona Lisa. She's secretive, um, a keeper of knowledge of, of hidden mysteries, um, behind the veil kind of thing. Um, she, um, she sits between um, two opposites, uh, dark and light, um, beginning and end. She sits in front of the other side, um, in front of the veil. Um, she controls the tides. Um, she rules uh, the moon. Um, there's always like a crescent moon. And um, you see all these diamonds down here, all these like prisms. Um, and this is kind of her, this net is like that veil. It's, um, I think of also, um, What's it called? Um, it's a little late. I'm getting, up, <laughs> getting kind of <laughs> tired. Um, it's, uh, yeah, that uh, energetic feel, too. It's the control of, you know, the tides, the magnetic field. It's, um, it's controlling your environment through finding that happy, that balance between opposites um, within yourself maybe within whatever um, creative endeavor you're working on. Because um, the hangman often um, signifies art and creativity because it's a 12 and it reduces down to a three and that's love, it's creativity. It's using your mind, your mental powers, your uh, knowledge, your, <clears throat> your wisdom and your emotion together to make informed decisions, to progress in whatever creative um, project you may be working on. Um, yeah, she is this keeper of knowledge. She usually has like a, a book, a, I think of like a diary or something like that. Um, but she's, it's water. It's, um, it's the flood in a way. It's, it's all the emotions, all your, it's maybe getting in control of your emotions, finding that balance between your thoughts and your emotions. Um, I think of also a uh, timeout. Um, that's sometimes the hangman just represents taking a time out, taking a step back, patience, um, 
gaining clarity, gaining perspective. Um, <clears throat> she's number two in the deck, so um, both of these are major arcana. Um, I think of more of like faded events or very archetypal situations in your life, archetypal people, um, things that we don't always have sometimes think of more, yeah, like I said, faded events, um, but we always have choice, so this could also be something that is in the works right now, um, or something that's past, um, people in your life that have, that are from the past, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a mystery, um, high priestess can represent Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and, um, I think of music, art with this also, just like hanging out, listening to music, um, maybe meditation, um, just taking a break, sort of, you know, um, from, from your day-to-day -day activities or all, all the things that you have to do in a day, um, finding the balance, um, yeah, having that fresh start, that, uh, letting, um, your emotions, how you feel kind of guide you as well, using your intuition, um, connecting logic and intuition thoughts, air, and your emotions. So where do you need to do that in your life? Um, I see a lot of blue here. So um, yeah, it's I think connecting a lot with your emotions, with the intuitive side of yourself. Um, fire, you know, be very passionate, very um, go-getter, very warm, very, it's all about, again, creativity. So Maybe it's more about tapping into your emotion, um, your intuition to guide you in order to, you know, kind of take control of the different energies that are going on in your life, the different situations, um, whatever it is you're working on that you need to, that you're maybe looking for guidance or inspiration on, she can represent, can represent an inspiration as well. It's like maybe, um, spiritual inspiration too. It's, um... Uh, maybe tapping into your subconscious, your unconscious, your dreams, um, to help you. Maybe t keeping a dream, a dream journal, or um, just you know writing things down throughout the day. Um, your thoughts, um, getting them out of your head, like the Eight of Swords, getting out of your head. The things that are, you know, at least circulate, circulating around in your mind. Um, getting those out onto paper so that you can kind of see clearly, maybe uh, navigate better your emotions, um, see where you can maybe be more emotional, tap into that emotion, um, let that guide your creative process a little bit more. Um, yeah, that ends up being a five, so together, two and 12, down to a three, so five. Um, five is change, it's creativity, it's adventure, it's um, maybe taking a time out to think about what you want, think about your dreams, think about your, you know, whatever maybe relationship situation you're in or creative situation that you find yourself trying to work out. Um, taking a time out, taking a step back, having patience, gaining new perspective to gain clarity, um, writing things down. Um, maybe seeing it on paper would help. Um, maybe even just doing it for like a day, just kind of kind of keeping track throughout the day of how your um, emotions kind of guide your actions. And um, yeah, just so you can see with, with refreshed clarity, refreshed perspective, um, music maybe helps too. Um, Letting music be an inspiration. Um, Hangman can also represent, you know, sacrifice where you need to maybe um, sacrifice some activities in your life so that you can gain more time to be on your own or just take a time out. Maybe it's, you know, staying in one night instead of going out just to, you know, reflect on things. On things um, tap into your creative inspiration um, you know how do you find inspiration what where, where do you start um, what's that initial like the ace of cups what is that initial spark for you um, 
maybe it's love. Um, I think love, whether it's, you know, romantic love, love within friendships, relationships, love for a pet, <laughs> love for your environment. Like, what is it that inspires you, that gets you, gets the the waters flowing, the, the wheels turning? Um, is it a type of music? Is it, you know, looking at books, art, um, going to a museum, going down, you know, by the water, being by you know, nature, what, you know, whatever it is for you, maybe just keeping track of those things would help you better tap into, um, you know, initiating that spark, um, getting that creative flow going. Um, I was going to do, um, can't see. <laughs> I was going to do these cards, which are connecting, um, tarot and astrology. And I, I guess I'll say this in all the videos, um, you are also welcome, if you, even if you just have a regular deck of cards, to pull a card along with these videos and um, see what pops out. At least that's how I started with tarot. Um, oh, I started with astrology and then on YouTube, you know, all those side videos come up and I started watching my own signs video for that month and I'm completely skeptical of <laughs> all things so uh, it's funny I, I'm very open-minded but you know skeptical you know it's that quote by Keats that's the only means of improving one's intellect is to make up one's mind about nothing and let the mind be a thoroughfare for all thoughts which kind of speaks to the high priestess it's like that flow of energy that flow of those flows that flow of thoughts um and um just letting all, you know, not having judgments, just kind of letting, gaining different perspectives and um, seeing how that can inform your decision, your creative process. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's, for me, it's it's kind of funny because I'm very open-minded, but it, um, I, I want to, you know, have some sort of understanding, some basis uh, to it all. And, um, so I'd watch, you know, one video and then I wanted to see if those correlated to other, you know, tarot readers videos for my sign and kind of keep track. <laughs> um, and uh, then I just figured one day I might as well just get a deck of cards myself. And since they're all like general readings and have it be more specific to m my circumstances. So, um, and then I started to pull cards alongside um, videos that I'd watch for further clarity um, since most videos and like this one are general and um, it's uh, kind of like a shopping site when you filter down your preferences from you know men's and women's to like handbags to the color of bags to um, the occasion that you're looking for so you know if you want to pull a card along with me as I do these readings and just see how it applies to you in a more specific way. Um, totally encourage that. Um, let's get more clarity on High Priestess, Hangman, Ace of Cups, Eight of Diamonds, Architecture, Fire Signs, the end of February. Three popped out. I won't even bother with the one in the bottom in that case. Um, let's see. One is blank, so I kind of think of that fresh start, um, clean slate, you know, clearing the way, getting rid of any clutter, mental clutter, environmental clutter, um, whatever is clogging up your process, um, just kind of, you know, making space for newness, new energy, new emotions, new um, people, maybe new scenarios, new creative inspiration to come in um, for there to be a good flow. So however you clear the slate, maybe it's meditation, like I keep saying, um, for you, whatever meditation is for you, uh, maybe it's just listening to music or getting onto nature, um, going for a walk, um, whatever you need to do in order to get out of your head, Clear the space, clear the way for newness to come in. Um, so I'll kind of just leave that there. Um, this is the 
Six of Pentacles or Earth uh, discs. It's um, it's Earth signs. It's your um, physical environment. Sometimes even just like your physical being, your physical body. Um, but it's material type things as well. Um, and six is to me love. Um, it's nurturing energy. It's um, making a decision sometimes. Um, it's choosing the best route, choosing the best way to go, clearing the way, like I said. Um, it, you know, it's that uh, give and take. It's the receiving and the, the giving. It's um, finding that middle ground um, between two different energies, two different people, two different situations. Um, sometimes it can mean charity to me, like giving of yourself in whatever way. Um, maybe financially, but maybe with your time. Pentacles discs can represent time as well. And um, it's uh, Mercury and Taurus. So again, Mercury is your thoughts and speech communication, and Taurus is all about grounding. And again, it's the second sign in the zodiac, which kind of speaks to the high priestess, even though it's Earth. Um, but it's taking the long route if need be, um, it's slow, steady progress, but ultimately being pretty fruitful, um, getting where you need to go. Um, maybe you have a lot of energy, uh, planets, things like that in Taurus, or um, Mercury is in a you know significant place in your birth chart, and I'll put a link for your birth ch um, to look up your birth chart below. Um, see that orange and yellow energy um, colors I mean um, it's also balance because it's coming from a five which is change um, it's finding that balance it's finding that stability um, between two things maybe multiple things but it's it's grounding yourself um, figuring out ways to ground yourself um, I can sometimes think of it as um, like middle man management um, middle man um, someone like the go-between um, to people. Sometimes it's receiving a raise or a promotion or if you're in a position to give a raise promotion. Um, it can also mean like not feeling like you're you're getting what you need. So if that's the case then how can you change that? Um, what do you need to do to change that? Um, the Taurus also represents to me like luxury and nice things, quality things. Um, yeah, but like loving the, loving your environment, loving the things that you surround yourself with. And if you don't feel comfortable in your environment, which is maybe like speaking to like paying attention to your environment, your surroundings, uh, maybe rearranging some things. <laughs> I think that um, in Clueless when she's giving her speech to... Uh, her debate class and just like get to the kitchen and rearrange some things and make room, make space. Um, I'll put a link for that below. It's funny to me. We used to like reiterate or act out that scene in fourth grade. That's when that movie came out um, for me and it was just like the best movie in the world. Um, and then this other card that popped out is the Emperor, um, which is a fire sign, um, represents Aries. Um, Mars and the Sun. So it's the first, it's a fire starter, it's that um, beginning, it's um, power, it's control, it's the Emperor in traditional tarot is, you know, the person that all the other kings, people in your environment, maybe work, co-workers come to, it's the person in control. Um, reversed, it could be someone who's kind of, I think of like a mad um, a mad king, um, someone who uses their power to, you know, manipulate situations. So I doubt any of you are like that. Um, that's number four. So again, it's about stability and finding balance. So six and four ends up being together a one or a 10 and then reducing down to a one. So it's about you and it's about how you find balance within yourself and how you find control and power and whatever situation you're finding, you're finding yourself in, whether it's work or um, your environment, maybe in partnership. Um, so we have the, the priestess and um, emperor, 
maybe between male and female um, energies within yourself or just, you know, your partnership, like I said. Um, it's fire. I have an itch. My nose is itchy. Isn't there, like, something that says, like, when your nose itches, someone's thinking about you? Um, yeah, here it shows the, the sun and the crescent moon. Um, it's just that fiery energy. It's, 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 um, sometimes it can be, um, also associated with Taurus, um, just here, just that orangey, fiery energy, um, so lighting that spark, you know, lighting that, um, lighting that inspiration, and how do you do that, um, how does that, how do you get things going for you, how is it, hmm. So the eagle, double-headed eagle. So it's like two parts of your personality, maybe. Um, two ways of seeing things. Um, but again, I think it's just about finding balance in your, in yourself and in your environment. And how do you do that, basically? Um, Aries, again, is at first. It's a fire starter. It's a um, go-getter. It's um, sometimes impulsive. Kind of just, you know, maybe doesn't think before they act kind of situation. Um, and um, maybe that's what it's saying, Taurus, to, like, Mercury, taking your time, thinking. Um like the hangman taking the time out thinking before you act um yeah um not rushing into situations um taking precautions um just maybe yeah like thinking about your day and and finding better ways to go about your day um so that there can be like i keep saying space room for newness to come in, for change to come in, um, or rebalancing after having gone through a change. Maybe you've recently gone through a change and you're trying to figure out, establish a way to, um, to find balance in your life, um, in your environment. So let's pull an I Ching card. I'm going to put the links below for fire signs. I think it's about passion too, and finding passion in your maybe your day-to-day -day activities. Um, <laughs> number one, it's the first card in the entire 64 hexagram um, divination system of the I Ching. So, and one, I see the sun there. It's again Aries. It's that first, that, you know, get things going. How do you need to get things going? You know. Um, Oh, had a candle going. It completely burned out. Not able to get that out. Um, on the bottom is thirty-seven. Got that for air signs. So I think there's probably like a lot of mental activity going on as well, and like maybe you're thinking about how to, you know, move forward and that kind of thing. So thirty-seven again adds up to a ten and then a one. So. Um, <laughs> Like not happy with how my hair is going right now. Um, and together, that's you know a two or eleven, like the high priestess, um, which is a gateway, a doorway. Um, I don't know the actual like meanings of these cards, um, so I'll put links below for that. But I just see like yeah, the different levels of something. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Um, so again, it's achieving that balance in whatever way you need to find that in your life, um, in yourself. Um, the layers. Um, this also looks like testing brush strokes to me. Maybe um, one of my best friends is a hairdresser. I think of like. A, hair like 
painting like um what's it called biovagi or something like that um and like painting the hair maybe like testing brush brush strokes uh marker testing um where that came from um yeah it's it's all about it's all about you it's all about that i am energy it's what makes you you um how do you it's connecting within so you can connect without um how do you do that how do you best do that um okay move on i feel like so far it's all pretty self-explanatory if i think of anything else the emperor um it can be you it can be someone you know um Someone strong, powerful, in charge, maybe your boss, um, someone who runs the company, father figure. Um, maybe connecting with the father figure or your higher ups. Um, you know, it just won't stop itching. One card for. That's funny, we got the hangman in the last fire uh, elemental reading that I did. Um, I don't know, I don't like that card. It was the hunter of death, um, which I think can just mean like a hunter, someone who's looking for change, transformation. Let's, let's do another one, I wasn't really paying attention. Um, fire signs, end of February. One card to sum up the reading. Spirit of challenge. You guys kind of scary looking. Kind of looks like uh, a high priestess to me a little bit, just in the way that she's standing. It's that same like mirror kind of thing. Um, Looks like it a lot, actually. Um, at least to me. I don't know if you can really see this, but um, it's like behind him. There's like two overlapping um, circles. You can't really see it that well, but like here, oop, there, here, and here. There's like two overlapping circles. So again, I think it's about finding that balance. Um, and the spirit of challenge. You know, challenge is coming into our life to help us move forward, help us to achieve that balance, you know, if things are just, you know, good all the time, you know, there's not really that uh, need or, um, yeah, that need to change, really, you know, if things are going great in your life, then, like, why change it, you know, why don't fix what's not broken or something like that. Um, so maybe it's about seeking out challenges as well, um, seeking out newness, seeking out change, um, informing yourself, um, learning something new, um, taking on some new skills, um, new passions, new love. Um, maybe love is a challenge to you. <laughs> um, but it's not just like, oh, the spirit's coming in to challenge you. It's, it can be about you finding you know, addressing challenges in your life or, um, you know, seeking out, you know, some, some people thrive on challenge. So um, it might be more so speaking to that. I actually don't have the book, so um, it kind of looks like an owl silhouette, um, something backlit, eyelashes. Looks like eyelashes to me. Um, wings. Um, looks like he's ready to pounce. So maybe you're just like ready. You're on that, you know, you're on the edge. You're ready to get going with something. You're ready to get the, get things moving, get the, get into that creative flow. And what do you need to do in order to, you know, really start? Um, what do you need to clear away? What do you need to get rid of? Clear your mind of? Um, what kind of balance do you need to achieve in order to feel comfortable in your environment, comfortable with what you have to work with, um, comfortable in your own physical, emotional, mental state in order to get started and really be productive? Um, 
like I said, maybe it's just taking the time out, um, listening to music, um, relaxing, taking some time for yourself, um, even if it's just five minutes, um, you know, taking a break where you need to take a break because we all need breaks, you know, don't feel bad about it. Um, Yeah, it's, uh, five, eight, um, five and eight, I, you know, I kind of think of the strength card, which is a little overlapping a little bit with the air elemental reading, maybe that would be informative for you to watch, it was kind of a little bit long, um, but, um, five and eight, I think of, um, which again, ends up being, um, when well, I think of the strength card and sometimes it, that can be representative of Sagittarius and Leo, so that works with, uh, fire signs, maybe you know Sagittarius, maybe you know Leo, um, but it's all about that passion and that learning and that creativity and that spark and getting that, you know, the spark between maybe two people, um, spark within yourself, within whatever creative endeavor you're finding, you're working on, um, um, it's 13, which reduces down to a four, which is the emperor. So yeah, it's about achieving balance and what do you need to do in order to achieve a uh, balance in your life regularly, um, so that things can just have that continuous flow, um, that you can get into a good pace, a good momentum, um, and get off on the right foot, you know, um, as Go in with a bang. <laughs> um, get things moving. Get things going. Um, let's see if there's anything else I was going to do. Um, I don't think so. If I think of anything else, I'll put it below. Um, kind of a straightforward reading. It's just, you know, finding what you need to... Finding, um, you know, what you need to do. What you need to um, clear away. Um, finding that passion, that spark in you, um, and getting that, getting it going, getting all, you know, everything in movement and in motion, um, you know, reining in the, the passion that you feel and finding ways to express that and, um, express yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, um, maybe connecting with someone else, um, yeah, just sort of, um, maybe opening up, finding that newness, um, seeking out challenges, seeking out, um, new opportunities to learn, to take in new inspiration and, and knowledge and seeing how that can help you in whatever situation you find yourself in, um, yeah, um, so I hope this was helpful and, um, I will probably be doing these readings for March as well, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the month. Um, bye.